Good morning, everybody. Today, I will uh, finish it out the virus diseases. I have left with the four viral diseases. So I hope you must have revised all the spiroplasma diseases, viroids and virus diseases. These are very important, not from the MSc point of view. They are important through IS exams, competitive exam, IFS and UGC point of view. Particular concentration is on the symptoms and the causal organism. Because whether the causal organism is single stranded DNA, single stranded RNA, this question will come in the IS. So you should concentrate and make a table of causal organism and whether it is a single stranded DNA, single stranded RNA, or double stranded DNA. And this one table should be ready with you. You will get one question. And one question can take you above 100 people in the IS. That is Guru Mantra. If you want to do something, do with full dedication. If send parts not required. Either don't do it. If do it, do it with full dedication. Right? Stay indoors. Stay safe. I will be right back. Stay home. I welcome you all back. And today we are doing the last part of the viral diseases. And the first disease we are doing is the virus disease of papaya. The leaf curl of papaya is characterized by curling, crinkling and distortion of leaves. And this curling, crinkling is accompanied by the vein clearing and reduction in size. To understand it, I will tell you this. This is the leaf curl of papaya. And this leaf start curling inwards, right? In the rolling of leaves that is downward and inward in the form of inverted cup, like this. And you will see it is inverted cup. This is inverted cup, right? And these veins start thickening. And dark green in color, these veins. Petioles are twisted in zigzag manner. The severely infected plants fail to flower and bear fruit because we know that photosynthesis is inversely proportional to the respiration. This you keep in mind. So when there is a curling of leaf like this, so phot photosynthesis area decreases. Hence photosynthesis decreases. So respiration increases. And the food which is stored, first chlorosis will come, then necrosis, the fruit and defoliation of the leaves. Because this is the set pattern you should be knowing. That is, every time chlorosis is followed by necrosis, and then the defoliation of leaves because of photosynthesis, inverse version of the respiration, and ultimately the death of the plant. So when there is a uh, bereft of energy, there is less energy, which is due to the curling, vein clearing, reduction in size, then the in plant fail to flower because flowering, what is flowering? Flowering occurs when plant channelized the energy to the vegetative to the reproductive part. So here energy is not there. So then if flowering failed, no fruit, if flowering is there, there is stunted flowering and it will be malformed fruit. So in advanced stages, defoliation take place. These leaves will fall. And we kahavat we say, na rega baas, na vajagi baasari. So when there is no leaf, no photosynthesis, no energy, no flowering, no fruiting, and plant, whole plant they show stunted growth. So the causal virus is tobacco virus 16. We also call it Nicotina virus 10. It is responsible for the leaf curl of papaya. It is single stranded DNA. I told you, make the table 
all the diseases. This one question will come. And this one question will take you above the 100 people in the India and IS and other comparative IFS. The papaya leaf curl virus is not mechanically transmitted. It can be readily transmitted by crafting. In nature, the important agent of transmission is the white fly, Bemisia tebekai. You remember we did the Bemisia tebekai when we did the yellow vein mosaic of Bindi, very important disease, please revise it. The host range of virus includes tomato, tobacco and LDR. Disease management, it is very important robbing, it is a field sanitation that is collection of all the disease plants and burning it away from the field. When there is a, I already told you, Bemisia tebidae, the spray of metacystoc, ecotox or rogor is very much required. That is ecotox 0.2%, rogor and metacystox that is 0.05%. The disease plant should be marked and in the field as early as possible. Must be uprooted, destroyed and buried deep in the pits at isolated spots far away from the field, which I just explained. So now the second disease we are coming is the mosaic of papaya. And other same that is papaya ring spot, they have same symptoms. The symptoms of disease is profuse mottling, mottling I will explain, and puskering of leaves. In the later stages, the symptoms are chlorosis followed by a mosaic pattern resulting in reduced size of leaves. See, this is the leaf and you will see there is a patches called chlorosis and because of these yellow patches, yellow, green, yellow, this is called mosaic pattern. As we did in last disease, as these spots increase, so area for photosynthesis decreases. And we know that photosynthesis is universally prior to the respiration. Hence, the respiration increases and here it is chlorosis which is followed by the necrosis and then the defoliation of the leaves and the death of the plant. So, in late stages, the symptoms are chlorosis, mosaic pattern, which is mottling and resulting in the reduced size of leaves because photosynthesis is reduced but respiration increases and the size of leaves are reduced. Then there is a malformed appearance and defoliation of leaves which we already did. That is chlorosis is followed by necrosis and then is the defoliation of the leaves. The leaves are often modified into tendril like structure the leaves they become these shoe string the shoe which we tie so every day we tie shoe we should remember that this is the shoe string is the symptom of mosaic of papaya which is caused by papaya ring spot virus or papaya ring spot and the virus infects many cucurbit host that is cucurbit people Cucurbit maxima, cassia and sisae and here it is a single strand RNA but whereas in leaf curl it is single strand DNA right. So this you should know the virus is not transmitted through the seed or soil it can be transmitted by mechanical sap and bud grafting aphids such as Aphis gossypi is known as vector. Here it is Aphis gossypi, which transmit virus in natural conditions. So disease control, all disease plants must be dug and destroyed, same as earlier. But here Carica cauliflora, Carica cauliflora, a wild papaya had been immune to virus and it is to be utilized for the breeding program. A weekly spray of 1% groundnut oil help to prevent infection. So uh, we are coming here again. I already told you because of these yellow, we have the patches, we have the mosaic pattern. 
and these leaves at later stages they reduce in size of leaves then defoliation of older leaves and the leaves they take the shape of shoe strings whether it is reduced size whether it take the shoe string the main purpose is that the surface area is decreased and photosynthesis is the surface area of photosynthesis decreased and photosynthesis decreased and respiration increases where the photosynthesis decreases and respiration increases that area it becomes you will see that area it will have a dotted that is chlorotic and from chlorosis it to necrosis and the defoliation of leaves and ultimately the death of the plant right so now we are coming to the next set of last set of disease that is the virus disease of potato leaf roll of potato symptoms in some varieties there is a yellowing of margin and tip leaflets very important the rolling of leaves is characterized by the curling of leaflet margins inward forming a trough forming a trough in which midrib is at the bottom see first symptom of this leaf roll is the yellowing of margins these margins and tips you must have uh, remembered that same where the spots will come at the tips and margin is the late blight of potato which is caused by the phytophthora infestans but here the tips and margins they uh, basically become yellow and other scheme you should know they start rolling inwards and they form a trough trough like this right and in the trough you will see my hand and the midrib you see this lines the midrib is at the bottom so when you see your hand at home so this shoe string you say you remember the mosaic of papaya whereas when you see the hand like this and midrib at the bottom see you will remember it is a leaf roll of leaf roll of potato so curling of leaflet margins inwards as we know photosynthesis photosynthetic area decreases and photosynthesis in which we should do respiration stunted growth because energy is not produced and which is slight bit which is produced it is consumed very quickly because respiration rate increases chlorotic so when it become chlorotic and when it turn inside it give you a rattling noise when shaken right so uh, here we are coming if the plants develop from infected plant tuber the leaf rolling starts in the lower leaves this is very important and progress upwards infected plants remain stunted because rolling will take chlorotic and make rattling noise the causal virus of disease is caused by potato leaf roll also known as potato virus 1 and this virus is isometric contains single stranded rna this is the single stranded rna same as that of mosaic of papaya and these occur, are confined to the phloem tubes the virus is not transmitted through the sap and the transmission of virus in nature it occurs through the infected seed tubers and through the agency of insects the main insect vectors are mysis mysis parasiki and aphis coccyphi the virus also infects tutura tomato phylicis so as i already told you the insect vector is required here so i will come first to that control since aphis that is major parasiki survives on peach the seed crops should not be established where peach trees peach orchards are there orchards are there so you should before if you are uh, settling a field of potato see there are peach trees particularly in the hilly areas first is rogging that is the 
you have to select the infected plants, remove them and burn them from the site away from the field. This reduces spread of disease. Seeds should be treated with hot water at 50 degrees centigrade for 25 minutes, which we did in the loose mud of wheat also. Bedi did. It gives the first the 30 degrees centigrade and then again 55 to kill them in one mycelium. But this is a different condition. But I re remember you have, to, you have to side by side do the loose mud of wheat also. The selection of healthy seeds is of prime importance because virus we are facing nowadays also. So the main uh, problem of virus is there is no control. Prevention is the best control. So prevent, avoid and here also selection of healthy seeds. Right? And now we are coming to the next set of last that is virus disease of tomato. And this virus disease of tomato we are doing is symptom is characterized by the severe stunting of plants. So before I move here, I just want to show you this mosaic. First this leaf curl and these are its symptoms, curling, vein clearing, crinkling, reduction in size and then second that is mosaic, mosaic form that is same, reduced size of leaves, shoe strings, defoliation of the older leaves. Then we did the leaf roll of potato, yellow margins and yellow tips, then it moves towards forming a trough, midrib at the bottom, curling, inward, stunted, chloritic, making rattling noise. So now you must have uh, understood the basic what is going on. Because creating symptoms, it is a very easy job if you know the basics, right? So in this leak, I will start the last disease that is the leaf curl of tomato. It is characterized by severe stunting of plant due to shortening of internodes. You must have remembered in spiroplasma disease, we did the same. Please revise that. And downward rolling and crinkling of leaves. Every time it is a downward rolling, there is a crinkling voice. The newly formed leaves shows chlorosis. The whole plant looks pale and appears bushy. This is partial or complete sterility of plant. See, this is the uh, tomato. Tomato. Here, this short, this is internodes. These are not, this is shortening will occur. Here it will form, it will form. Ultimately, it will form a, this bunch like structure because if shortening is not there, it will look like this, right? So it is a bushy growth it will shows because of the shortening of this, these internet, bushy appearance. Chlorus is there, you know, it is a characteristic feature of virus diseases, mosaic is also, and then surface decreases, hence less photosynthesis, and we know photosynthesis is associated to respiration, and chlorosis will occur, and the slide with which energy is produced, it is wipe it out, necrosis, means first the spot will come, and then there is a chlorosis, right, and then we have the necrosis, right, and then Reduce size of leaves, ultimately defoliation of leaves and the death of the plant. So now we are coming to the causal virus. The virus, it is caused by the tobacco leaf coil virus, which is single stranded DNA, 18 nm diameter and circular. You will see, we have done four diseases and these both are the single stranded DNA and these are the single stranded RNA. So this is the way how you remember. You have to, I already told you, you have to make the table. Transmission. It is uh, seed born and the principal insect vector is Bemisia tabecae, white fly. I already explained you earlier uh, in the disease, right, in uh, leaf color of papaya and also in the 
uh, yellow vein mosaic of bindi which is very important so bimisia tebekai when bimisia tebekai came you must know these spring with ecatox 0.2 ragor 0.05 theek hai metasystole is also there and parathio it will automatically come so spraying with the ecatox ragor and parathion at interval of 10 days help to reduce disease as in pcs of papaya i already did we have used carica cauliflower but here in case of tomato lycopersicon peruvianum shows high degree of resistance and it is used for the breeding purposes growth regulators like ga gibilic acid and 24d that is 24 dichlorophenoxyacetic acid should be used to reduce disease and increase yield of fruits so this we finishes today the viral diseases and i just want to explain them again this is the leaf curl where it is a curling and thickening of the veins curling gives crinkling noise reduction in size photosynthesis decreases respiration increases process for the necrosis then defoliation leaves and death of the plant stunting growth so you should understood what's going on it is a video game just know the rules then you are on here mosaic also photosynthesis area decreases because yellow 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 green yellow in this is mosaic or mottling reduction of the size of the leaves like shoe strings then defoliation then i already told you then there is no flowers if flowers is there very small deformed fruits or no fruits so next is the uh, we are doing is the leaf roll here very characteristic yellow spots on the tips and margins which is same as i told you in the late blight please revise late blight is very important disease and then it is the basically inward rolling right and this inward rolling started that it rolling start in the lower leaves and progress towards the upwards and the rolling of leaf is characterized by curling of leaflet margins inward see forming a trough like structure with a midrib at the base curling of leaflet margin inward stunted plants because surface area decreases of photosynthesis and respiration increases chlorosis is the characteristic feature of uh, virus and making rattling noise with when shaken so this uh, i uh, finishes and i revise you again that i have did virus disease of papaya that is leaf curl of papaya which is uh, caused by the tobago virus 16 or nicotiana virus 10 it is a single stranded dna then i did the mosaic of papaya which is caused by the papaya ring spot virus and this is single stranded rna and then i have did the virus is a potato is leaf roll of potato which is caused by isometric single stranded rna in the flowing tubes and the last we did is the leaf curl of tomato which is caused by tobago leaf curl virus it is single stranded dna 18 nm in diameter and circular and the last thing we i did is bemisia temecai white fly when it comes the spraying of ecatox point 2% ragor 0.05% and metasystox 0.05% and parathion besides it uh, we also uh, this time in case of uh, leaf roll we have other that is misers parasiki and you remember that as soon as the misers parasiki will come you have to avoid growing potato near the peach orchards or peach trees and two varieties we did when mosaic of papaya 
a resistant variety called Carica cauliflora and when leaf curl of tomato the resistant variety Lycoporsicum peruvina. Okay then, stay indoors, stay safe. I will be right back with the next set of lectures. Bye bye.